dear students in this session we are going to see the topic units of time and space i am s vasudevan your physics teacher sv now we are going to see that what is the basic unit of the time is the time is measured in seconds so the basic unit of time is seconds the larger unit of time are minutes and hours so in thin the bracket so second can be expressed in a symbol form it is a small s yes. minutes can be expressed in a symbol it is a m i n small letter then hours means h alone so very simple students the basic unit of time is second and the larger units of time are minutes hours and etc what is we already studied that in the previous uh, weeks or the previous uh, sessions the speed is defined as distance by time so total distance covered by total time taken what is the unit of distance distance is length so length can be measured in meter time can be measured in second so the speed unit is meter by second or the distance may be measured in meter the time may be in minutes even the time can be measured in hours also so our uh, <coughs> car bus lorries and everything are the speed of the lorry or speed of the car can be expressed in kilometer per hour that is the speed so some kilometers 10 kilometers per hour means for one hour the car is moving 10 kilometers so that is a unit for speed so by knowing the unit for the distance by knowing the unit for the time we can express the speed in terms of meter by second meter by minutes and kilometer by hour for our convenient very simple students the symbols are always expressed in singular that is 50 km you don't write 50 km this is a wrong this is a correct one so always the kilometer symbol should be in km not km yes okay so the speed can be measured by a special device is called as a speedometer the speedometer only attached in our car bike everything then the inside the speedometer there is an odometer which measures the distance so odometer measures the distance covered by the vehicle speedometer measures the speed of the vehicle so name itself we have that speedometer measures the speed of the any moving body odometer measures the distance covered by the vehicle so very simple speed is equal to distance by time then distance is equal to speed into time we can measure the distance is equal to speed into time this formula is used in odometer then speed is equal to distance by time this formula is used in speedo meter so by using this formula only speedometer and odometer are working again i will recall you students speed means distance by time then distance is equal to speed into time by using these two formulas only speedometer and odometer are calculated that is the speed of the vehicle and the distance covered by the vehicle are calculated now we see the simple problem convert kilometer per hour to meter per second so 1 kilometer per hour means 1 kilometer is equal to how many meter yes it is a 1000 meter 1 hour consists of 60 minutes and each minute consists 1 minute consists of 60 second so 1 hour has 60 minutes into 60 seconds so we can cancel 0 0 then finally we get 10 by 36 meter per second now i will say that 220 kilometer per hour okay convert this into meter per second so what is this so you have to write 220 so 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter then 1 hour divided by this is divided by hour so 60 into 60 so 0 0 get cancel finally we get 220 that is 2200 divided by 60 into 60 2200 divided by 6 into 6 so we get 3 2 are 6 here 
1100 so we get an answer 1100 by 6 meter per second so this is the answer so by using this uh, problem so these are all the very simple step 1 km is equal to 1000 meter 1 hour is equal to 60 into 60 in your book in the page number 150 in the page number 150 there is a table given for fastest speed that comes some animals attain so they are giving the name of the animals and they are giving the speed in kilometer per hour now you have to complete it. this is the activity for this unit this is the homework for this week so complete the table given in the page number 150 by using this formulas so what is the first step 1 km is equal to 1000 meter then 1 hour is equal to 60 into 60 if it is a 2 220 km per hour means you put 220 then into 1000 divided by 60 into 60 then you calculate that no need to do the big calculations simply substitute that and write the answer on your own <coughs> so in this session we have studied about what is that what is the unit of time second minutes and hours so what is the unit of speed meter per second or meter by minute or kilometer by hour so the symbols are always <coughs> represent only in singular okay so now we are seeing the simple problem converting kilometer per hour so 1 kilometer is equal to how many meter per second so 1000 meter by 60 into 60 second so that is a conversion so whatever the number it is given here it is a 620 means what we have to do that here you have to put 620 into so very simple calculations you practice on your own okay so simple calculations you have to practice on your own this is the this week homework read the book pages page number 147 148 149 and 150